Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to see how we can reduce the default blur that Elements applies when you use the depth of field effect that was introduced in Photoshop Elements 10. If you're not familiar with this technique, I will be going through it in this video, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on achieving the effect. If you want to see that, check out my video on YouTube called Photoshop Elements 10 easy depth of field. So let's get started. First go over to the panels bin on the right of the elements window and make sure that edit is selected and then click on the guided button and once you're in guided edit mode go down to where it says lens effects and click on depth of field. You can choose between two different methods I'm going to click on Simple. Then you just follow the three steps in order. Step one is to add a blur. And when you click that button, Elements adds a default blur. And it's that default blur that we're going to learn how to decrease in this video. Step two tells you to define your area of focus and conveniently gives you quick access to the gradient tool to use for that purpose. So I'll click on the gradient tool and then move my cursor over onto my photo and click and drag over the part I want to be in focus. So something like that. Now step three gives you the option to increase the blur, but I actually want to decrease it. So I'm not going to do anything for step three and I'm going to click the done button. Now in the Edit panel, click on the Full button to return to Full Edit Mode. And notice that Elements added two new layers in the Layers panel. The one named Background Copy is the layer that contains the blurred image. So I can make that layer active by clicking on it. And then if I go up to the right corner of the Layers panel to the Opacity field, all I have to do is click on the little arrow to the right of it and then I can drag the slider that appears over towards the left to decrease the blur amount or decrease the opacity which will decrease the blur amount. So if I went all the way to zero opacity it will be the same as the original photo before any blur was applied but I like how it looks at around 70%. So here's how it looks at 100% after applying the depth of field effect and here it is at 70 percent. So there's a quick way to lessen the blur amount applied by the depth of field effect in Photoshop Elements 10. Be sure to click on the subscribe button right above this video to be notified when I put up a new video. Until next time this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.